<laughs> What's up guys, I'm tired. Like hell you are. Go! What's up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out this new knife by Benson Blades. This is the Planarian, which I just figured out is named after a flatworm, which is weird. That's right. I got put into a pass around for this knife thanks to Pyro Flipper on Instagram. It's a very, very interesting knife that I haven't had a lot of time with, but I have had enough to give you my initial thoughts on it. When I got the knife, it came in this really interesting leather sheath, which is really nice. Also, out of the box, it came nice and sharp which is very cool to see. The design of this one is interesting. It's definitely different than basically any other knife I've seen. And I think I'd like to talk about that a bit more before we get into how it flips. But before we talk about the design, I also just wanted to give a quick shout out to my patrons and say thank you guys very much for supporting me. Uh, if you want to, uh, Patreon, we have a thing also. Brandon, are there any, uh, give me a product. A product? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have merch. Link in description, bye. The design of this thing is very interesting. As you can see, it's got a very, very big blade matched by these sandwich style titanium handles. They have a really cool cutout with triangles along it. I have a feeling this actually is meant to kind of mirror the look of a planarian flatworm, which is an interesting choice. Planarian flatworms are probably the dumbest of the flatworms with their big weird eyes and small brains that you can see through their body, much like this knife. This knife is pretty big. It is uh, larger than my Monarch and is even larger than the Emissary I have. I gotta say, it's very interesting to see such a large design because I thought it would be too heavy. At least that was my initial assumption until I got it out of the box. You see, when you have a blade this big on a knife, it's very easy to have a blade heavy knife, but it isn't. It's got a really, really nice balance to it, which I was surprised by. Design-wise, you also have this really beautiful kind of Bowie-style blade. It's got a very good curvature to it and good grinds all around. It is uh, pretty freaking good, actually. Holy shit. Also, the Benson Blade logo is etched right into it, and it looks really nice. You can see the Benson Blade logo is pretty much a reflection of these triangles, and I think that's a pretty cool design. Also, this thing does have anodization on the handles. It's kind of a rainbow anno that is hard to see, but I think that's just because so many people have flipped it in this pass around that it is worn down over time. Anodization on titanium is a little bit weak and isn't something that lasts a super long time, especially with a lot of usage. So I personally prefer raw titanium, kind of like this or this, but anodization can look really cool. And if you look at this in the right light, you can see it very well. Now, when I first got this thing, I was a little afraid because, well, it looks like it's beefy, kind of like the chap. It looks like it's gonna be super heavy from the boxy nature and that blade makes it look like it's gonna be especially blade heavy. However, I was pleasantly surprised the moment I took it out of the box. This thing has shockingly good weight and balance. The balance is surprisingly neutral with a good balance point right around here where you would normally grip it. Also, speaking of the grip, the whole pattern on this thing is very good. It gives you good grip in most tricks that I tried. Now, speaking of flipping it, this thing rings really loud anytime you do a trick. Here, listen to this. I don't think I've ever heard a bladed ballast song ring like this. A couple trainers that I have do ring, but nothing I've ever had has rang like this blade. It's kind of cool. I definitely can see the novelty in the ring and I hope that whatever he does in the future models of this, keep the ring because I think it's kind of endearing. The build of this thing is pretty straightforward with relatively good hardware and a nice stainless steel blade. I'm not entirely sure what blade steel he used, but I know it is high quality. Also, the handles are titanium sandwich, which is very nice. I'm pretty sure the in spacers are also titanium as they look like they've been anodized to a brass color. Overall, this build gives you a very, very sturdy feel, even though this one doesn't have the best play in the world. I will say one of the handles on this thing is perfect. It is completely and utterly tuned perfectly, but the other one is just loose enough that it makes the play on this thing not as good as I would like it, but it's also not bad. Either way, that play is forgivable with how well this thing flips. Huh? 
chaplains on this thing are really nice. It hugs your finger perfectly and is very comfortable with the chamfer on the back of the blade. Also, any kind of ricochet or rollover is very, very easy due to the good balance. This thing has plenty of grip for very difficult tricks like ladders, and also palm spins are fantastic on this thing. But yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this thing. It is overall a very, very cool product, and I'm very thankful for being included in this pass round. I wanted to thank Will Benson and Pyro Flipper for making this possible. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that we now have a merch store. You can see the link in the description. There's all sorts of things like masks, and we have uh, t-shirts with my logo and my signature on them, plus some awesome artwork by my friend Austin. Uh, as you can see, there's all sorts of fun Balasong related merchandise. We also have pillows, which are great for personal protection. Wow, I'm safe and comfortable. Real quick, I just wanted to shout out our Patreon supporters. Every one of you have helped make each one of these videos, and I think that's really awesome. We really appreciate all of the support we've gotten on Patreon, and if you'd like to join, tiers start at just $3 a month. We have an awesome Discord server, as well as behind the scenes videos that we share all the time. Every donation is very much appreciated. Finally, follow me on Instagram as at the Will Hirsch. I post behind the scenes videos as well as flipping videos and video announcements. So if you want to be in the know, that's the place to be. Also, don't forget to follow my camera guy at the Brandon Baker. He makes these videos look as awesome as they do and he's also probably getting hungry. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go give Brandon his dinner. Children, dinner time. Ooh, dinner. <laughs>